lot of men hear the term women's issues and we tune it out and we think, hey, I'm a guy. I mean, why would I care about that? That's for the girls. That's for the women. And the point is this. Every issue that affects the women and girls that we care about affects us by definition. We live in the world together. Our lives are interwoven. When we talk about women who are abused or girls who are abused, we're not talking about women and girls as some abstract category out in the world somewhere. We're talking about my wife. We're talking about your mother. We're talking about your friend. In fact, every single person in this room, male and female, knows at least one girl or woman who's been assaulted by a man. There are probably women in this room yourself who have been abused. Between 85 and 90 percent of interpersonal violence in the United States is perpetrated by men. And that's according to the FBI, hardly a radical feminist source of information. Um, so, so if we want to talk about violence, we have to talk about masculinity. Power and control is not genetically programmed into the male. It's learned behavior. And one of the places we're learning it, and it's not the only place, but one of the places is the mainstream media image system. It's filled with images of men controlling women, men dominating women, men aggressing against women, and men being popular as a result. To be a real man, to be tough, strong, independent, respected, means fitting into this narrow box that defines manhood. The terms that are the opposite of that, wuss, wimp, fag, sissy, are insults that are used to keep boys boxed in. So if you're a boy, it's pretty clear there's a lot of pressure on you to conform, to put up the act, to be just one of the guys. Why do I drink? I don't like drink. <laughs> I pound about, about 12 to 15 beers. Half a flask of whiskey, right? College is sort of advertised as the place that you go, you know, when to drink. How about some more of Stiffmeister's collegiate concoction? I don't have Friday classes because I know I'm going to drink on Thursday. Guys like girls who drink beer. Where do students get the idea that alcohol has is a necessary part of the college experience? Guys drink beer. It's like, this is what you drink. The number one date rate drug is probably alcohol. It is a problem on college campuses. I think a lot of people are tired of it by this time. We just don't know what else to do. Alan, 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 Alan. It's not necessarily the alcohol itself that we need to look at, but rather the cultural meanings that we ascribe to it. It's like, oh yeah, drink Bud Light, you'll have a good time. And then you see what happens in like real life when you're at a party with all this alcohol and it's just messy.